All right, so this is going to be part three of uh, my life story, part three of uh, my story is a mystery and now it's history. So I um, wanted to, to uh, touch on one topic real quick. So if we're dealing with the legal commerce system, one way that we can, so it's all about agreement, right? They want your surety. They want, they want you to be surety for their debt bond. They want you to sign. They want your sick nature, your signature. So what we can do to get out of these things and still use the system is to sign using something called ellipse. Ellipse is dot, dot before you sign something like period, period. Or we can use V, V capital V, period, capital C, period, and then sign after that, which means V coctus, which means under constraint. Uh, the ellipse means under duress. Again, they have to have consent. They, you can't twist somebody's arm and have, have a binding agreement. There's no meeting of the minds. To have any contract, you must have a meeting of the minds. So um, another way would be to sign it uh, sine contractus, which would be S-I-N-E space C-O-N-T-R-A-C-T-U-S, which means without contract in Latin. Another way would be to, to sign it arcire, which means at arm's length in Latin. Um, or you can always go with no contract or without consideration. Rarely does anyone look at whatever you sign with. And if you sign it in Latin, nobody knows what the hell you're even talking about. Or if you sign it with ellipse or, or uh, v coctus, these things will all hold up in court. So especially ellipse and v coctus, those are the rules of commerce. But essentially, if you know what something means and you know you're not consenting, then it'll play out that way when you go to bring it up later on. So it's a way to use the system but not get sucked into the system, right? Because it's all about consent. They use trickery, so we're going to throw some back at them and use some of their stuff against them. Many of these people do not know how to use this stuff themselves. So anyways, um, yeah, so uh, tying on to the last one, uh, again, I've got about 400 short videos you can find uh, on my page. You'll find the link to the earlier versions in the description box below, at least to the previous video. This is part three of what will probably be, end up being four or five parts altogether. So um, all, all this, this, uh, this digging into to the legal system and all the fraud, and I really started my journey about seven, eight years ago. In 2017, I think it was, after, shortly after I had my first uh, daughter, Danica, uh, we, lost, uh, we lost electricity. You notice I don't say we lost power because I, I don't, I'm the co-creator. I'm not going to say that I lost power because then I do. Um, I'm powerful, yet I, 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 we lost electricity. And I realized that... Um, I already knew that the government didn't give a shit about us. Again, government is guberne mente, which means mind control, to control and govern the mind in Latin. So um, I, uh, I started digging. I just realized that like I've got to look after my daughter, and I can't rely on these assholes to provide for them, so I have to take care of it myself. It's looked in like generators, and I just started digging and digging and digging, and the more I looked, the more lies I found, the more deceit I found, the more deception just lies, lies, lies on top of lies. Everything you can imagine. It seems a little mind-blowing, but once you start to dig, you'll realize that there's a pattern. You hear me talk about MO, uh, modus operandi. Well, there's is lies. Lies and deception and um, getting a bunch of people to agree to something that's bullshit so that it becomes true, right? Everyone's on the same lie. And when everyone believes the same lie, well, who's to say what's true or not? Because we're the creators here, so if you believe something, so believe is be, it contains the word be, lie, and vague. Vague comes from verily, like verily, verily, I say unto thee. It means truthfully, truthfully. Um, the, so you're going to be the lie or be the truth? Which is it going to be? It's a choice, and whichever side you pick, again, we have two sides of everything, so whichever side you pick is what it's going to be for you. Um, again, many will not be able to follow this stuff because there's too much cognitive dissonance, which means that it basically overloads somebody's brain and they can't, they can't wrap their head around it. There's too much, too many lies, too much deception. Just know this right now. It's all lies. The whole system, the way it's set up from your kid's school all the way through college, through the, the, um, the, the Rockefellers got their hands in this stuff a long time ago, which are basically the embodiment of demons and, uh, pretty much just subverted the whole system, got from everything to AA, to the schools. To, uh, to medicine, to the doctors, to the lawyers, to the, the whole fucking system, man. They got every bit of it. They've been trying to silence me for a long time because I, I've, got, I've got the key here. I've, um, I've, I've proven that I hold the key to truth, which is um, in terms of the, the legal, legal name fraud that's been perpetrated against every single human, every single man and woman on this entire realm we call Earth. Is applies to, and it's all about fraud that was perpetrated against us when our parents sold us into slavery with the short, with the birth certificate, and later the short form birth certificate, which again is a receipt. It receipts us, making us notwithstanding, turning us into a legal fiction that we then claim to be because we think it's us because it looks like us and it sounds like us, except it's not us. In in the the legal and the law world, you have to pay attention to everything, like capital letters, capital L letters is actually what it is, uh, as in like Greek. Um, we have to pay attention to everything because the all caps name and the birth name that your parents gave you or gifted you 
they actually gifted you to the crown, which a gift is a gamete intrafallopian transfer. It's, um, <laughs> long story short, without going into all of it, your parents sold you into slavery at birth with consideration, which means with, with money, and it, it makes it even more binding when you pay somebody to take something rather than just giving it to them, right? So, um, yeah, thank mom and dad for that one. They didn't know any better, so we're not going to blame them, but hey, I tried to wake mine up and they couldn't open their fucking eyes, so I just took care of it myself and undid all of it all the way back. Um, and a fraud revealed is null and void, non pro tonk, evidence showed infinite. And what that means is um, a fraud, uh, there's no statute of limitations on fraud. So, evidentio means since before it began. This is how my stuff has disappeared because it would never existed. Because, and truthfully, we're living in a dream right now. And the causal realm, if we can affect things in the causal, then it comes on here to the effect and changes this. This is how things like the Mandela effect, the Mandala effect, all this stuff exists because this, this ain't real down here. It's a, it's a projection, it's a dream. You're in a lucid dream that recurs right now, 555 five, five in the clock. Um, and when you hear me say things like 555 five, five, or 1111, or I have recurring numbers I see all the time. It, uh, it's much like hearing a car horn honk or a train horn when I'm talking. Is uh, I pay attention to what's being said at that time because it's a wink from the universe. The universe is universe. It's yours. We share this realm. We share this earth, but we don't share the same reality. So only some of you will see this because, well, you're, you have to be on a certain vibration to be even pulling this in through your law of attraction. There's, there, there's, there's an algorithm, but not really. The algorithm's in your mind. It pulls everything into you. So when you're seeing stuff in your feed or whatever, oh, it's the YouTube overlords. No, it's, it's the law of attraction is what it is. And whatever's going on in your life, it'll pull it into you. It'll, it'll pull in and you'll see what it is that's in your subconscious and in your mind. Um, I, again, I touched on this earlier. I'm going to hit it again. Some of us, you, you've probably heard people see NASA's liars and the flat earth and round earth and, and Kalo Kankai. Which one do you believe? None of them. All of them at the same time and none. Because everything here is alpha and omega, beginning and end, middle. Uh, left, right, middle, all of it. There's always three paths in everything. If you don't see three, you're being polarized. Your, your vision is frozen. We can't see. Look harder. You'll find a third path every single time. It has to be. It's, it's the, you call it the, uh, the Trinity, right? The, the Holy Trinity here. It's all, everything's in threes. It has to be. It's one of the laws here. Anyways. Um, so, uh, and so I started to dig, started listening to a whole lot of information, running across certain things, legal law and all that stuff, lawful. Legal is not lawful. They are not the same thing. They are not related at all. Legal is a fake made up system by man. It's the satanic system. And, um, lawful is the law that was been here a long time that goes back to the law of the land. The legal system is the law of the high seas and the water and of pirates and dead men tell no tales. And uh, there's also a divine law that encompasses the whole realm and is put in place by the Creator. We are all divine. We are all part of the Most High. We are all fallen angels, angels of light. 33 and a third fell, 333 three, three, divine. Um, we are all fallen angels of light. Every one of us that's here, we've fallen from the higher, from the higher vibrations. So, anyways, so when my second daughter was born in 2019. Um, amazing experience as well. Really incredible. Uh, again, cry my eyes out. Incredible. Just all kinds of electricity flowing through my body. I, I, I knew that I was witnessing a, 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 an angel come into this world, which is fucking incredible. And just like the first one. And um, love her more than anything else as well. And uh, it was, came time to sign the birth certificate. So we had her also at the same, um, the same birth center, which was midwives, doulas, no drugs, no forced labor, no C-section, none of that, right? Uh, we did this on purpose to get away from that sterile environment in hospitals. Hospitals, they'll force that bitch out as soon as they can because they got to go play golf or whatever the case is, and they're born into uh, this sterile realm, which is really toxic. Hospitals are some of the most sickly places in existence, uh, full of all kinds of bacteria and viruses and fecal matter and um, under fluorescent lights, which is like fake light mimicking the sun, right? And um, not even a lamp in sight, most likely, if you're at a hospital. And just... Um, it's it's it reminds me of like a concentration camp or something like it's just so we had them at at the birth center it was really an incredible experience i got to be a part of the actual birth if you're going to have kids do it man check it out at least look into it it's really amazing um usually the people that work there are amazing beings and they're just they, they do what they love and you know the, nothing will be forced they'll you learn how to breathe properly and all this there's no there's no uh there's no chopping them out of you right so uh that's ideal because uh a C-section is very traumatic for a baby, and it's uh, it's how I was kidnapped. It's um, I was Shanghai from my natural jurisdiction to be forced into a unnatural jurisdiction, 
uh, which for me adds to the birth certificate. If you were born by C-section, it's just like an extra kick there. Uh, when you come into the place, I don't know if they still do this, but they used to smack the baby when they come in. So like, hey, welcome. Welcome to Earth Realm. Welcome to Earth, like Will Smith punching that alien in Independence Day. Welcome, and he slaps him, right? It's like the first, the first thing you get here is a lick, right? And that's what's going to come the rest of your life, most likely. So it, it, th again, these are all, things are all by design. There is nothing by chance here. It's all by design. There is no such thing as chance. Uh, if you think it's chance, coincidence, it doesn't exist. Uh, chance is merely a word for a divine law not recognized. I believe that's what it says in the Kabbalion. Good book to look into. K-Y-B-A-L-I-O-N, the laws of the universe, how everything actually works here. Um, pretty much on point with most things. A great start anyways. Uh, YouTube has it. So you get smacked when you come in here and then it's just kind of a life of that type of shit as you go on through your life, right? All that stuff and uh, again, it's all by design. There's some very dark beings that are in control here that have been in control for a long time that their time is up because of beings like me and others like myself that are doing things like undoing the fraud that was perpetrated against every man, woman, and child in this entire realm for the last several hundred years. Um, came to do certain things here and it's it, because it's it's time it's time it's up their time is up their are their food is going away which is us they're feeding off our energy we are energetic beings we are cells we are full of cells cells are energy inner key inner chi like chinese chi like qigong we are all energy and they feed off of us we are not the top of the food chain but we're taking away their 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 fear food fear anger resentment lust all that stuff um and it's going away so you know sucks to be them they've been in control too long Time to go, guys. This is our place. Um, God is taking it back. He's sick of this shit, to, to just put it bluntly. Um, I told other people, uh, the most high sees through my eyes, speaks through my mouth, and hears through my ears. And it's absolutely true. Um, I've made myself a vessel for the divine here because there's things that have to be done for the, the, the divine, and they can't do them because they need a human down here to do it. So some of us came and reincarnated back here, as uh, whether we're you know ascended masters or... Syrian star seeds or blue, blue light, blue ray, violet ray, crystal children, all of the above. Um, we came back to serve the divine and the spirit realm so that we can take this bitch back for humanity so that we can do, we can have heaven on earth. This place can be heaven or hell. Hell is not a realm that with this fire and all that shit. That's the church's nonsense, okay? Heaven and hell is here. And you're not cast down to hell. If, if you get thrown out of this place or, or what's coming, most likely before too long, which is referred to as the second death in scripture, um, you just not exist anymore because we came here to have an experience to be part of the divine. The divine wants to be a part of us, wants to connect with us. So if we don't connect with the divine, what reason do they have to keep us around anymore? He made you, he can get rid of you as well. Something to keep in mind. Maybe we need to reprioritize some of our stuff here, right? Anyways, and this is no judgment. I don't care what you do. I'll be here to help you do one thing, go this way, or you can go the other way and I'll tell you I love you and have a good life. Uh, just enjoy it while you're here because it's it's going to be short, you know, in, the, in that sense. Even if you live the whole one here, which I don't know how that works exactly, but it's not. Let's just say it's, you can take eternity or you could take, you know, this little short stint here, which this is just a stop, man. This is, I, again, uh, to not go back where stuff I've gone over. I've been here before. I've lived other lives. I've got memories from Atlantis, Lemuria, Crete, Egypt, Phoenicia, all that shit. So I, it's not just a one-stop shop. And um, you don't only live once. You live many, 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 many times. You have many, many ancestors that, that look after you and love you and love you more than you can imagine. And uh, they want us to do the right thing, but they can't force anything. It's all by free will here. So I highly recommend it to look into these things and do the right thing. And if we don't understand what's true or not, we just need to ask. You have not because you ask not. We don't know because we don't try. We don't ask. So if you if I want to answer to something, I just ask. And I, I'm very tuned into source and the divine. And I, I, a lot of stuff just comes to me through downloads. But I'll tell you one thing. We're all connected. We are all one, okay? We are all one and we are alone here at the same time in our universe. So if we want to know the answer to something, all we need to do is ask. He made us, he's part of us. He, she, it, all of it, source is part of us, wants a connection with us. So like reach out to it and it will reach back to you. Has to. Everything comes two sides here. There has to be an exchange. Like any good relationship, there's gotta be two sides, right? Even with all the shit I do, sometimes I forget to even talk to them. Like, and the first thing I do in the morning is I invite them in. Since we're under free will, we have to invite them in. So it's highly recommended when you wake up in the morning to say something like, you know, uh, the third step prayer, which is I offer myself to thee to build with me and to do with me as thou wilt. Relieve me of the bondage of self that I may 
that I may better do your will. Take away my difficulties, the victory over them. Would bear witness to those I would help with thy power, thy love, and thy wide life. Or something along the lines of like uh, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, ascended masters, the most high. Um, Holy Spirit, I invite you in to, to, to channel through me throughout the day. Use me as, as a divine vessel. Come through me. That's what I say most mornings when I get up, something like that. Uh, then they can come in. I can actually feel them. Like It's electricity. It's all electricity here. Electricity isn't something we pay for. It comes out of the fucking air. It's part of this. This whole thing is electric. It's all not. It, it's all magnetic electric. And they say electromagnetic. It's backwards. It's magnetic electric here. Me is me is magnetic electric. Anyways, I'm touching on stuff I already hit. If you want to see more of this, look at the other videos. Um, so yeah, I I, I was too. Uh, so it came time to sign the birth certificate, and uh, I was too chicken shit at that time to stand up to my wife, which is not the case anymore. But. Um, at that time, I was like, I'll just falsify this thing. I changed it straight up. I, I changed it so I knew it would be notwithstanding if it, they had the incorrect information on it. I think I changed her name on there. And uh, didn't, she didn't notice this until like a year ago. She's like, can I get you to sign a new birth certificate? I was like, are you fucking insane? Do you realize I've spent like thousands, I've spent like hundreds of hours and just so much time learning and undoing this and doing things that nobody else has done here and, and dealing with like sending stuff all like my stuff I guarantee you goes to London City it goes to the Vatican uh, it goes all up through the courts I've sent stuff to the Attorney General like they know who I am so like it's not just this little oh Chris thinks he's doing no like and she saw this which you'll see later that it played out to where they had to respect me and get out of my way so anyways uh, when I was standing in in the correct way and when I could keep myself in a high vibration and out of that fear vibration because since this place can change if we allow ourselves to drop down into fear anger, uh, hate, uh, any of that stuff, it can change immediately. Like I was able to pull cops into my reality by, by having, I got like two tickets in one day after not getting any for months or not even having any run-ins with these assholes. And a cop is a corpse, is a policy officer. They're enacting policy. This ain't Andy Griffith, man. It's not, it's not, uh, this ain't the, the guy in the, 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 the white police car that's a crown Vic that maybe has like a cage in the back and you know, he's got a revolver on his hip. Now he's got a 9mm, a rocket launcher, an AR-15, fucking M4 in there. It's all black. They've dressed, the, they got hand grenades probably. They're decked out like the Nazi SS. It's all fear. They drive these black vehicles that are all blacked out. You can't see a fucking thing in there. Um, it's for a reason. It's all to instill fear in you. I, I've spent much time overcoming their fear porn. And it's been one of the deepest seated things that's ever been put into me. And that's a lot because there's a lot in there that a lot that I've done to work these things out of me because I know they're there and I want them out. I use their tactics to undo their tactics. So since I know I was brainwashed in, I, I brainwashed my own stuff in. I just, some of it I just seed in to the point where I did this with the whole law legal realm. I, I, I put the information I wanted and I put so much in there, it just overwhelmed everything to where it became my reality. And then my outsides changed because the insides did indeed change. The insides are the outsides, the outsides are the insides. As above, so below, as below, so above, which means cause and effect, effect and cause. And uh, as within, so without, as without, so within, which means the insides are the outsides, the outsides are the insides. Again, it all comes circular. Um, so, uh, yeah, back to uh, my relationship. So, had the second daughter, didn't expect it, unexpected. And uh, my, my first one was two years old. And I wanted another year with her at least. We spent a lot of time together and that stuff. And I knew that when the second one came, it would pretty much eat up all that time and it would make things much more difficult, which it did. Um, pretty much just was going full time doing the babies and, and work and everything. And just, you know, the, the typical American family that's just so overwhelmed that just can't get a fucking thing done and just, um, it's just overwhelming. And we're, we're unable to live this way. It's why everyone's so fucking miserable and there's no time for each other. We forgot about each other totally by this point you know, which may well have happened either way, but point being that it's hard to carry on a relationship when you're overextended and add a job to it and all the other shit that goes in the mix and everything in the middle. And I started using drugs again. And so it just, you know, or I started using a lot of weed, a lot of like uh, synthetic cannabinoids at this time. Um, and so, it, you know, I played my part in everything. I'm not, oh, wife did this to me. No, like I, I always play my part, okay? If I'm pointing the finger, there's three pointing back at me as a saying, it's because... 1911 on the clock it i play my part in everything okay i've done it all i've done it all in other lifetimes i've seen it all if you're doing something i've done it before so i have no right to get mad at you because i've fucking done it i've done it in this life i've done it in other lives i did it when i was less mature whatever the case is you know i was sleeping in my car one night and this kid's like basing out at 2 a.m and i started to get upset and i was like no wait no man no 
You don't get to get upset. You know why? Because you've done that. I was that stupid kid who was 15 years old with the sub in the car and all that stuff that was doing the same shit. So I don't get to get upset at anybody for this because it's, that's not right, man. It's a fucking hypocritical. Anyways, um, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, right? We are Jack. We are Neo. We are Thomas. Doubting Thomas, that's us. Uh, Gospel of Thomas, a great uh, esoteric book that was in, it's found in the Nag Hammadi texts. That's N-A-G-H-A-M-M-A-D-I. It's a find that was made in the 40s, I think, over in Israel somewhere, supposed Israel, right? Israel is Israel, which is Isis, Ra, and El. Isis is Aya, which is Mother Earth, Gaia, Kaya, same. Um, all, it's all phonic sounds. It's listen to the sounds. Um, and older civilizations have different names for these beings, so it's, that's why you'll see different names for some of them. Um, Ra, the sun god, the sun the sun is the giver of life here. Yes, you've heard me talk in other videos about the sun going to die on the cross. With the cross is the cross in the southern sky, I believe it is. And it's, um, it goes to die on the winter solstice for three days, in the tomb for three days, and then resurrected, right? Oh, the, the resurrection of the sun. Yes, because if the sun goes away, then everyone was dead here and everything because everything survived off the sun, including us. Look into sun gazing. It's fucking incredible. You can stare at the sun all day long. It will not harm your eyesight one bit, guaranteed. If you can look at it, it will not harm your eyesight. Good luck starting at that. You want to do it like morning and evening to where the sun's rising and setting because it's not as bright or put on like sunglasses. Or just lay out in the sun and close your eyes and it'll still charge up. Uh, it's, it's, it's a power source. It's photons of light. Again, we are the fallen angles of light, fallen down to the material realm. Um, so when Chloe was very little, she, was, so she wouldn't eat... Uh, we had her at the birth center. We went through all this trouble to have her at the birth center. And then, lo and behold, I could not get her to eat. Um, so we ended up, um, ended up, I ended up back with her in the hospital. My wife and my former wife had tore really bad during the, the, the labor because she pushed her out. She was like, I can push. I'm like, yeah, go ahead. And like, bam. And then she ripped open. So I uh, had to be stitched up and all that. Probably very painful. Props to you w women out there because I... I, I was amazed by it. It gave me a whole new respect for women seeing what went on during the birth process. It's fucking incredible. If you've never seen it as a guy, be a part of it if you can because it'll change your whole view on stuff if you're at all real. Um, so Chloe ended up in the hospital. I was there with her. I was in like the basement of the hospital trying to get my daughter to eat. And I, was, I think I was somewhat strung out and just it was not a good time, man. Um, it's not what you want to be doing with your new baby and having her away from her mother either that's supposed to be with mom those first few days there's a reason for that right that's a bonding time she didn't get that and it probably affected her to some degree also i did i did as much as i could with that obviously and you know there there was some some like mennonite nurse at the hospital like you want us to take her and see if we can feed her and honestly i didn't want anybody taking my baby because i know that at times babies get switched in that place or like they could just disappear like oh sorry like but i was like finally i was i think i was exhausted i was like yeah sure good luck and uh, they're like, oh, we can't get her to eat. I know you can't get her to eat because I can barely get her to eat. And I'm her dad. Like, um, I got her to eat, but it was very difficult, right? Like, she won't eat for me. She's not going to eat for you. She doesn't know who you are, man. Um, appreciate it anyway. Thanks, though. You know, it's like, anyways. Um, so we got through that whole ordeal. Uh, so went back home. About six months later, um, Chloe got what they called the flu. Uh, she wouldn't eat again. So we're back in the hospital again, right? Again, this child had some issues early on and um again child in Phoenician is killed excuse me so uh this daughter has some issues early on daughters of men doubters of men and um you know I had to deal with the whole being anti thing the things they'd put in your arm and I, I my my daughters never had one of these things um we got exemptions we did all these things I did what I'm doing now um I know that nobody can force me to put anything in myself or in anybody else if they try and tell you this stuff or try to tell you, you got to keep your job, there's just know that there's nurses who have kept their jobs by pushing back in the right way, uh, doing things like uh, conditional acceptances, staying in honor, um, declination offers, uh, declination offers for V product. Um, it's all about using the commerce system to push back because that's what it all is. It's all Lex Mercatoria. It all goes back to Babylon. It's all Babylonian. The United States is the... So Washington, D.C. is the military wing of the New World Order. London City State, which is a sovereign city, is a square mile within London that even the Queen had to ask permission to enter, is a sovereign land also. Um, and that's inside London. It's London City State. And notice Washington, D.C. will never have representation because, well, 
it's a sovereign land. That's why those people got locked up back on June 6th or whatever it was. That was very foolish to go in there. I know they didn't know, but that's that's not the, the what's known as the United States, at least, by the way. And the United States is not the United States. It's the United States of America done in a particular font when it was created. It all goes back to like the, the Virginia Company and um, uh, the East India Company and all this stuff. It's all, you know, how many colonies were there? Oh, 13. Lucky number 13, huh? They love their 13s. Um, it's all a cult. It's all, you know, there's a reason certain skyscrapers don't have a 13th floor. It's, it's viewed as bad. Depending on which society you go to, one and three is four. In certain s scenarios, it's very good luck. In others, not so much. And all that it just depends on where you're at. But point being, everything is done for a reason. And this whole place is now a corporation. Welcome to United States Corp. That flag you're flying is a Lowe's flag. Take the fucking thing down, please. If it has 50 stars and stripes, it is a Lowe's flag. It is the same thing as a fucking Lowe's flag or any or, or a Tampa Bay Buccaneers flag or whatever the case is. Actually, be better off flying a Tampa Bay Buccaneers flag. Point being, it's not what you think it is. You're literally you're putting up a, a sign that says you love your slavery, right? Because we are all, I was, w most of us are still debt slaves in this current system. Slavery was not some Amistad thing. But that's all Hollywood, man. It's always been debt slavery, okay? It's, it's about debt. They get us at birth with a debt bond, and then we live our whole life. They steal all of our money, basically, and then we spend our whole life like giving it back to them and paying it off, right? They, they borrow against us with a debt bond, a debt bond, not a value bond. Um, and the bond is the birth certificate, the bonds. They love their bonds. Stocks and bonds. Stocks. Wait a minute. Stock, isn't stocks something they put you in when they threw fruit and shit at you when you were being punished? Now people sign up for that? Okay. Anyway. Um, so you yeah, had to go in there and they're like, well, why do you feel this way about not using these things on your daughter and da da da? And this is before everyone else was coming around. And I had to be like, well, I, I got to, I can back mine up. I got your, your, your medical literature says that it's what I'm saying. And it's very toxic and that it uh, creates disease and these other things. And I, you want to see them? I got a whole book of them. Oh no, no, they didn't want to see that because if they, if they looked at it, they'd have to admit that they've been harming children for, or harming the young for God knows how long and they just their conscience couldn't handle that so they just wanted to look right and that's the way it is with a lot of these people props to any doctor doctor the doc yeah you're you're a vessel again um, where we've been salvaged by the way um, and that goes deep I'm not gonna go into it now but there's a hole you can play the phonics game on that one and it just it all falls apart and falls into their whole realm of water so anyways um, so yeah they didn't want to see any of that of course I, I just learned to just stay on my ground and you're not going to get me off off my game anyway on certain stuff i'm not moving man you'd have to you'd have to up me to get me to move on certain things especially today which i know that nobody can me without my consent now nobody can touch me okay i've gone up against the whole system i've i've, I've taken it apart from the inside out i've proven all these things um i've gone to battle with these people um nobody's ever come for me not in that way no there's no government agency coming to kick your door down or and unless you believe it, and you believe it, you may well see it because, the, again, the insides are the outsides. But, you know, it's not, um, no, no, it doesn't happen, okay? So just know that it's all fear porn like it's always been. They control the mind. They control the body. It's all about this. They're going to get the meat suit. If they got the meat suit, they can convince you you're not divine, which severs your spiritual connection, which so your radio doesn't work anymore. That ties you into the divine, which made us, which is part of us. So they got the whole package, right? You control the mind, you control the meat suit. So yeah, they got the mind early with the government governing the mind. So uh, the wife that I was married to and the one that I was found myself with were two different people. Uh, again, I talked about drawing in narcissists into my life. Well, that was one of them, okay? And again, this was all meant for me. I agreed to this ahead of time. This is one of my soul contracts, karmic relationships that I had to go through in order for me to grow and change and grow into the being that I had to become. But at the same time, it wasn't pleasant, right? And I didn't know this stuff at the time, so it was very, it was very traumatic for me. Okay, this, my marriage falling apart was like one of the worst things I have ever been through, and it took me a long time to get over this. And you know, I've just recently severed the last energetic connection between us, like very recently, because it doesn't matter how far apart we are with anybody, because the physical realm isn't real. So distance isn't real really so even if we're not close to somebody they can still get into our our energy and affect us okay especially if they're like energy vampires which there's a lot of out there especially these narcissists and psychopaths and i'm not talking shit about anybody i'm telling you what i know this is true okay i'm very sensitive to energy so i feel these things no matter how far away i go i can feel them i'm psychic i'm intuitive 
um, um, somewhat telepathic. Like it's just all because it's all part of Source. The closer you get to Source, the more of these things we can do. And there's actually stuff that we can do that's even beyond anyone's wildest imagination. About I know that the powers that be are afraid of us because of the things that we're going to be able to do as we step into our power. They're they're going to be total. It's not going to be good for them. We'll put it that way. And I'm not talking about physical battle or war or any bullshit like that. We don't play like that. We're just going our own way, okay? We're building our own society, our own, our own world, our own, our own universes outside of their control and their realm of control. They, have, they can do nothing to stop us. And this frightens them. They are indeed afraid of us. There's a saying, it's, if but one shall awaken, they are doomed. Well, you got one right here and there's many more coming. So I'd say it's pretty much up for them. Their time is up as well. Just... Um, TikTok, yeah, TikTok indeed. Time on the clock, man. Your time's up, bro. You know, funny thing, I was watching a clock. I was sitting in a meeting about six months ago, and I was watching the clock, and it just all of a sudden the um, the second hand jump like sped up and went from like five seconds to thirty seconds in about five seconds. So it crossed twenty five seconds in about, and it I think it was done to show me that like this isn't real, man. Remember where you're sitting right now. Remember that you're just here for a time. And then they're not here for our time and like don't get too wrapped up in the physical because it ain't real it's as real as we make it what did uh morpheus said what is real yes indeed what is real uh i don't know whatever we believe that's what's real so like what are you going to believe right so yeah um you know she was the way she was because of unhealed trauma which a lot of us have again no hard feelings i'm not talking shit about anybody man um but this is part of my story um and my story History is his story and my story is a mystery, right? Uh, unhealed trauma, uh, daddy issues from earlier in life, other things that happened to her and just never resolved it. So if we don't fix our insides, it comes out of our outsides. And I've had to deal with a lot of this stuff myself as well with all the trauma I've been through. I've done a lot of shadow work and a lot of work on myself to step into my true being and who I'm supposed to be and to be able to make the outsides like the insides and have the insides be something that I want the outsides to look like, right? They go hand in hand. You can't separate them. I've tried. It doesn't work. Um, so, yeah, the whole system is a big lie, hiding our divinity from us. I touched on this earlier. Um, Regis, stir, Regis is to rule and stir is the divine feminine creative ability. So Regis stir is literally to rule the divine feminine creative, which is all of us. And it, there used to be, they used to record births in a Bible. They were recorded. Like record, like a cord, like an umbilical cord, huh? Um now that then they started registering register well to, to register is to give up completely so you're giving it up completely to the crown and the crown again the crown is the queen the king all that these assholes used to be the tutors tutor sounds like a teacher tutor sounds like they stepped out of their realm and started to uh just rule over everybody huh sounds like it to me um there were some other beings here that did this as well i cannot remember the name at the moment but yeah same type of deal these people were entrusted and they, they took advantage of that and just ran with it, screwed everyone in the process. Rest assured, they're getting what's coming to them and it's not good. So anyway, um, yeah, it's all polarization. Again, they, we, they use these things like the news and newspaper. Turn that shit off. Turn the news off. Turn the newspaper off. It's all garbage. It's all the feed your mind. If it's not in your direct reality, it does not exist until you bring it in. These bang, bang events and all this nonsense, uh, those are all crisis actors. They use the same actors over and over again. Uh, the first one of those um, that uh, started with an S and goes to like Captain Hook, right? Uh, I looked into that years ago. All the all the the mortgages were bought out for the whole area. Well, that's funny. That that's interesting, right? Sounds almost like some kind of operation because it was. It's all operations. It's all being so. It's um, Hegelian dialectic, right? which is a problem, reaction, solution. They create a problem, we react, and they give us a solution. And then they're able to steer us wherever they want. They're able to give us, get us to give up stuff that we don't want because it's all, it's all through consent. We have to give it up. They can't take anything from us. Nothing is taken, it's always given. Okay, offense is not even fucking given, it's taken. So that's actually flipped. But anyways, oh, I'm offended, are you? Well, you need to work on yourself then because offense is only taken, not given. If I know who I am and where I'm standing and who I truly am, you, there's nothing you can say to me that'll shake me off of that. And I can, you can do the, say the worst things in the world about me. I could care less, man, because I know who I am. You don't dictate who I am. That's up to me, not you. Um, so I started waking up to the whole, like, you know, it, shortly after this time, before I got a first house, I was uh, waking up that, 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 that this was indeed, it ran all the way deep, 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 deep. And uh, it was all based on birth certificate fraud and went 
all the way back and I had found a unique way that very few people had taken. There's a being known as Kate of Gaia that drafted a lot of these things that wrote them with, uh, with divine inspiration. They are all divinely inspired. You can tell when you read through them. They're just uh, masterfully and meticulously crafted to shred the system down. I mean, just in every possible way. There's no outstepping it. Um, the BC Cross is a Gordian knot of truth that cannot be undone and is written backwards and forwards in Phoenician. These wizards cannot even pull it apart. So it's it, basically when I when these things were put in, they were it was done, and especially with the new energy that came in. Again, they locked me up in their, their debtor's prison on um, April the 8th of this year, which the first time I'd been in jail in 22 years. 22 is the master builder number. And um, my birthday is on the 22nd, my supposed birthday. And um, it allowed me to use their case number or cause number to submit this document and get it into the system the way it needed to go in. Um, more on that later, though. But anyways, but our first house out in Waynesboro, Virginia, the land known as, which is all, again, it's just some asshole drew some lines on a map and said it was theirs. It's actually all of ours. All this land belongs to us. When you go to a state park and they go, oh, you got to pay money to stay here. No, you don't. I said, don't this, doesn't this belong to the people? Well, yeah. Well, am I not one of the people? Well, yeah. Well, then why are you trying to charge me money to stay in my park? Who made you arbiter over this shit, man? This is ours. It was given to all of us. It's for all of us to use. Nature's not yours. Nature's. It's all of ours, man. It doesn't belong to anybody. That means anybody can use it for whatever they want. Take care of it. Roll with it, right? Uh, so 2020 comes around, right? That big event. I saw it coming in China, and I was like, oh, shit, here we go. Like I'd already seen it for what it was. I knew it was all lies because I'd already discovered that everything that they put out was lies, that they, all they could do was lie. So... Stood the reason that's what would follow was one big lie and sure enough they pulled it off with flying colors I'd never realized every so many people were so brainwashed It scared the ever-loving shit out of me and I, I again I'm working during all this time I was a locksmith so we were deemed to be essential workers I was like oh wonderful right wonderful I get to be out here in this bullshit I wasn't scared of any kind of fake virus I was scared of uh, I was scared of I guess having to stand up for myself and to be like the only guy that was doing it in my reality and um I put the place that I was working for on notice for $75,000 fine under HIPAA law if they tried to make me wear a fucking medical device. The medical device that, by the way, was made so doctors didn't spit into open wounds. That's the only thing that thing's good for. That piece of paper is not stopping any kind of virus particle, if there was even such a thing, right? Again, you see what you believe. Uh, Dr. Andrew Kaufman has done some very interesting research on that as well, showing it to be something very, very different from what the, the accepted medical model is of these things, right? Not to mention that that CV thing has been on a Lysol can since the 1950s. Pretty deadly, huh? And uh, there was an event called Event 21 that was done right before this thing kicked off with the exact scenario that happened. It was a test. Um, I can go on and on about this stuff. Just know that I, this whole time I didn't wash my hands, okay, just to prove a point because I'm hard-headed like that. Um, I was out there during touching doorknobs all day long. I'm a locksmith, right? So I touched doorknobs and the most touched things in existence. There was no thing going around. It never happened. It was all in your mind. If, if we focus on sickness, you're going to get sickness. If you focus on health, you'll get health. If you focus on something being a lie and bullshit, well, then that's what it'll be. I worked during all this. I never got sick. I never had any issues with it. Um, I did get sick one time with some kind of sickness for uh, over the course of several years with some kind of sickness like but I get that every once in a while rarely but um and I was fine I survived it's fine there's no worries man everyone has this every once in a while it's our body cleaning itself out and with all the shit I was putting in my body I'd, I'd be much more akin to saying that's what it was instead of some external nonsense it's all every time you hear something's on the outside it's actually on the inside so all that stuff the diseases and all that it's whatever we put into our but whether it's food putting it in or medicine quote unquote poison uh, pharmacist used to mean poisoner if we take it back to the 15th century so a lot of truth in that huh because it's poisoning people it's fucking poison guys it's chemical they're oil byproducts and then they put these fancy ads out like these ads didn't exist when I was a kid anyway there was no alcohol ads allowed there was no like no liquor ads and there was no liquor or spirits right uh, some dark ones and um, there was no drug commercials now they're able to seed the mind and to convince everyone of what something's for before it even comes out. And then you see, again, seeing is believing, not really if you know it's all lies like me, but a lot of people believe something, they see it and they believe. Well, now in this age, 
the technology's gotten so far that you can you can sign up for chat GBT and AI and you can like have it make you a, a realistic looking movie based on text you put in so I'd say seeing is not really believing unless it's right in front of your face because most likely these days is just some computer generated bullshit so anyway um, it's just a flu. Old people die. Today we had deaths of granny was 102, 97, 94, and 95. That's what I'd hear when I, when I would actually listen. Oh, really? These people were going to die anyway. It's part of life, man. It's the one thing guaranteed in this place. You know what? You're, you're, you're on a mission headed that way anyway. So that's the way it goes. And they live longer than most. And it's not uh, this confirmation there. Um, they live longer than most. It, it is what it is. You don't get to shut down my whole world because some people died. I don't give a shit if there's a black plague going around. You're not going to tell me to stay in my house. You want to stay home? You go ahead. Don't tell me to stay home or do anything I don't want to do. And all these cops and corpses, cops, cops has a silent R. It's actually corpse. They were all used to push this agenda, and they're all too chicken shit to, to push back and do anything about it, right? So they're just going to carry it out. They are the dogs of the New World Order, Okay. They've got their own dog tags, but they're, they're called officers because they should be in a fucking office because they're enacting policy, okay? Um, crown virus, corona. This is the one they want, okay? This is all set up to get this crown. Our crowns are coming online. It's, we're sending up to meet with the divine. They talk about Jesus. You'll, when Jesus comes back, he'll be in the air. You'll go to meet with him in the air. Much like Moses went to meet God on the mountaintop, it's always about ascending. You're going up, up into the air. It's, it's metaphorical. It's allegor um, allegorical. It's anagogic. It's not literal. Litter all is garbage. It's shit. Litter, litter, kitty litter, or garbage. Litter on the ground. All, all litter. Litter all is garbage. It's for the profane. In the, in the Holy Scriptures, you have exoteric and esoteric meanings. Esoteric is the knowledge for those who can see and the exoteric is the surface level shit and that's what most people have bought into they're eating shit and telling you it's you need to follow them okay it can't be jesus because there's no j but i won't go into that it's christ k-r-s-t is christ it's the heart of christ christ is within us again if i go back to the old world i've got uh let's see here so i don't butcher this oh shit well anyway it's uh jay sui uh, which I believe is I am and he Zeus he's us as we are him yeah there, there's more than that but anyway to I don't want to get off here but anyway yeah he's us we are him because everything comes full circle it's all polarity he said you will go on to do greater things than I it basically said to not use him as an intercessor, and then the church has made him into an intercessor. Church is actually Kirk, by the way. Um, most, much props to uh, Jordan Maxwell and others, other beings that came back here to spread knowledge that were ahead of their time, that came to lead the way for beings like myself. Uh, I'm standing on the shoulders of true giants right now, and my, I thank them from the bottom of my heart, because without them, I could not be where I am. People even like David Icke and whatnot. David Icke talks about reptiles. It's the reptilian brain is what it actually is. It's, it's the lower mind, again, right? It's trapping us in the lower frequencies, the lower vibrations. Again, food, sex, resentment, anger, fear, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so they want your crown, man. It's, um, they're stealing your crown through poison mentally and physically, which, again, leads into the spiritual. They're fucking up your radio, your divine radio. They know what they're doing. Okay, they're trying to cut you off from divine source so they can still feed off of you because they need us for food. Um, trace a lot of this stuff with these things back to Nazi Germany. No joke. Uh, and a lot of it just it's it just goes and goes. That's its own rabbit hole. But uh, it's it's again it's uh, retrograding the chakras. The RX symbol means retrograde. It spins your chakras backwards. Your chakras are your radio. They are. A divine antenna um, so when when the radio when the antenna is fucked up you can't get reception so good right and I've again I've been on plenty of these things myself over the years highly recommend it again anybody to dig into um, herbalists herbs chiropractors uh, meditation over medication um, most of these things there is a there's a way for us to we can heal ourselves um, there's herbs put here for us to use Plants, plant medicine, uh, spirits of plants. Reckeweg, R-E-C-K-E-W-E-G. Doctor Reckeweg is a great uh, 
if you're of a high vibration, you can look these things up on YouTube, um, and you can find them on eBay. So that's what I use these days, amongst other things. Um, and actually, thought crazily enough, um, people like me and like shamans and stuff, we can heal, which means that others can do it as well. Heal through meditation and uh, guided, focused thought. I thought that was horseshit back in the day. No, it's very real. Um, Chakra, shock your raw, your divine light channels, right? That'll shock your raw. Taking those pills will shock your raw, right? Um, I was the only one a lot of times to push back against this stuff. So it was it was an interesting ride. I, I, I found people online, but not any that I was actually speaking to. I found channels where I could go learn about things. Um, Crow 777 Radio is a great source of of true information here and digs into stuff, shreds it apart. That's C R R O W seven 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 R A D I O dot com. Um, it's like seven dollars a month, and you'll have guests on there from everything from legal to lawful to to Doctor Reckaweg to everything imaginable. Okay, uh, shredding apart the space programs and all that. That's all its own nonsense. But anyway. But it's not a big conspiracy. Again, it's all about what you believe. So, like, there's not like a billion people in on a conspiracy or five billion. It's just what you see, what you believe. So, if you if you believe it inside, your projection is going to mirror that. So, you're going to see it on the outside. There is such a thing. It's just different for each and every one of us. If I could get more people to understand this, they'd be better off. Because it's just more division when you're telling someone that they're fucking retarded because, you know, to retard is just slow down. It, I, don't get offended or do get over it. But, um... Because they believe something different. If that's what they want to believe, let them believe it. I don't care. They hurt me at all. I don't care. And they have a right to that. You have a right to believe whatever you want. You don't want to believe what I'm saying? Go go kick rocks somewhere else. I don't care. It's my... I'm responsible for the effort, not the outcome. I'm supposed to come here and share this stuff. And whoever resonates with it, they will be pulled into it. Law of attraction will pull them in. And they will connect with it. And they, it will resonate. They'll go, oh, that's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. This comes from up here, man. It's not like in my brain. The brain is just like a radio antenna. Why do you think the Egyptians threw this shit out? The Egyptians kept the heart and got rid of the brain. Well, the Egyptians were very knowledgeable, weren't they? Funny that. The brain is about the most useless fucking thing. It contains the ego and all that other lower consciousness shit. We use it while we're here. Afterwards, it's useless. Uh, to escape this place, it's, you have to have the heart of a feather. Or heart that weighs as light as a feather. That means dumping all your resentments, fears, all that other bullshit that keeps us in low vibrations. So that we can ascend again to meet with the Christ in the air, which the Christ is inside of us. We will ascend up vibrationally speaking and resonance wise to meet with the creator in the air. The age of air, we're moving into an age of fixed air from an age of mutable water. We're going from Pisces to Aries, the feet to the head. Um, so yeah, my 2020 vision came online in 2020. So I'm grateful for that actually. So again, some of the worst things that happened to us, we can use them to work for us to be uh to work to our benefit that's the only way to learn is to go through stuff man uh it's the best way to grow is to go through it it sucks when it's happening but gotta do it gotta do it and you signed up for it so get over it right i i, I guarantee you i've had probably a worse life than you have and they don't see me complaining so get over it stop bitching just step into it transmute it overcome it deal with it and you'll have a much better life and you'll be much more wiser for it and much more people will be able to relate to, relate to you i can relate to so many people because i've been through so much shit i've lived up here i've lived down there i've lived other lives I've, I've i've been poor i've been well off i've been all these things right i've been addicted not addicted yada 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 it goes on and on well now i can relate to more people more people can relate to me and my story like what i'm sharing right now you can relate to some of this because I, you've been through some of this shit man it's, it's simple you know this was all a divine setup from from the, the time that I re-entered this place. Um, so you, yeah, so um, I started getting downloads from the Akashic. Like just shit I just knew. I started writing it all down. I've got probably books of information that I've just written down that ties everything to this, to that, to the other. The, the, the Phoenician spells behind everything and breaking down words to what they really mean again the word in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god because well we are god the word is the voice which is the sound it's a phonic realm it's all sound everything is sonic phonic here um so it's all that's why it's all of those things because yeah it's all of those things it always was it's always been sound it's a sound game man uh so basically, it's just the the divine is flowing through me because that's what I volunteered for before I came here. Again, I'm a high priestess, shaman, light worker, 
um, Hayoka Energy that's decided master that's come here to share some information with my people, right? Uh, when I put the stuff into the course, one of the things I said was let my people go. You know, and I'm speaking for God. Let my people go. Let them go. Like it's, I said, it's not me talking. He's talking through me. Like, fuck off. Let my people go. You are my people. Um, and I, I learned that I could see what others can't. It just is what it is. I, I kind of had doubts about this for a long time and that I couldn't like, oh, how can it be me and yada yada and, and I, I, is this really what I think it is? And no, it, it is because I, I tell you, I've got proof of all this and I can see shit that nobody else can see and the numbers and the coincidences and excuse me, the, the coincidence and the synchronicities and the, <laughs> it's all a big puzzle. It all hooks together. It's all a divine puzzle here. I was very good at puzzles as a kid, go figure. Um, kids, baby goats, baby Capricorn. Capricorn is tied into God, um, alchemically speaking. Um, my daughter was able to access some of the Akashic stuff. I noticed that she would say stuff, and I'm like, how did she know that? I'm like, did you hear that? Did you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People just blow it off. I'm like, no, no, she couldn't have known that. Like, She took that from somewhere else, and it just channeled through here because, again, these kids are... They're tied into the divine because they're not wrapped up in ego yet. They're still living in the imagination land, right? The first seven years that your kids are here, they are in uh, theta brain state. So theta is like, tell me what to do. I'm, I'm. They're a sponge, right? Five, five, five on the clock. Um, they're little sponges. So we have to be very careful what goes in during this time because it's going to shape their entire reality. This is some of the stuff that I missed with mine because of the way that my life played out. And now it's that time is up. So it's going to be a little bit more work for them to get out from under this. But hey, if I can do it after 40 years, they can certainly do it after seven or nine, right? Um, including the time that they were conceived. But anyway, so uh, during this time, um, I, I realized I could see what others can't. That I had a divine purpose here because I was like one of the very few that was actually doing anything with the stuff. I was having success with it. Um, I had a ticket in 2022 that just disappeared. I put in the BC Cross, and uh, poof, it just disappeared. Never existed. There's no, there's no warrant. There's no war rant. There was no capius. There was no. I never showed up to their supposed court because if I did, I'd be claiming that that was me, and it most certainly was not. I handled everything in honor. You know, we would go down, we deal with the clerk, the cleric. We handled it with them in person, and uh, everything is done according to the law. And when they touch the touche, it's the contract. So as soon as they touch that paperwork, it's done, it's theirs. And it says on there, you're served, no, it's over. So uh, it's done at that point, and we just walk out. I, When this happened, I had the biggest influx of energy I've ever felt in my life because part of it is claiming my 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 energy back from these dark beings. It's not, again, it's not, a, you know, Kate was fond of saying it's not a physical paper stacking contest. It's a spiritual game. The paper just represents what's already done. That's all it is. And if, if I hand you a piece of paper and you don't know what's in it, it's worthless. It doesn't mean any fucking thing because it's still mine. It's not yours. You don't even know what it says. So how is it going to be conveyed to anyone else? you got to embody these things. Man, I read the cross about... I read, I read the cross, the invocation of the cross, and I who shall not be with legal name, hereby proclaim with unclean hands. Even reading at the speed that I'm speaking right now, it took me about an hour and a half each day. And I read this in for like six months-ish. Four months at least. Every day I read this in. Uh, and it's a lot of time, but it, I knew I was seeding it into my consciousness. I knew, again, if they could do, if they're so good at these things, which they are very good at programming, then I can use their tactics to reprogram myself. And that's what I did. Um, it says, me and the mother and father are like this, son. We're, we're close. I have a very close connection with Source. And um, I'm, I, I, it's the best thing I have here, you know. Uh, and anyone else can have this too. You just got to do certain things, clean things out, get rid of some stuff, and clean out the inside so that source can flow through you. And again, it's we're all all the same here in many ways, and some of us just got here sooner than others so and came to share some stuff. And if I wasn't able to share it, then I wouldn't be sharing it now. So, you know, it's, it's up to each, of, each and every one of us. We all have free will. It's all up to us. I can't make you do anything. I won't try to make you do anything. I won't coerce you, seduce you aid and abet you, deceive you, any of that shit. I won't do any of it. It's up to you to do what you want with this. I'll, I'll be the messenger, the messenger of the gods, and you can do what you want with it after that, right? It's, it's not up to me at that point. Um, and I can't control it anyway. Why do I give a shit? I mean, I, I'd love to see as many people come over to my side as I can, but I know that not everyone will. So whoever's going to come, come on, and the others that won't, well, so be it. You chose it. 
you'll get what you get from it too so watch out it's all coming full circle man it ain't much longer so uh, my intuition went off uh, it went off the charts man I've always been highly intuitive psychic um, read people's minds essentially I can read their energy like no other part of being like uh, having this uh, shaman energy and um, it just went off the chart and especially the more I clean out the more that comes in um, so I, I realized I'd always been guided by the divine without even realizing it like they were always working with me I just didn't know it yet they were always working with me through me part of me guiding me to what I agreed to ahead of time I'd look back and go like oh wow look at that that lined up with that that went perfectly there I'm starting to push this out in front of me and go like well yeah they got it all lined up already man I'm just doing it as long as I invite them in they're working through me all the time so like I'm being guided by other ascended masters who are basically my spirit guides who are guiding me here they're showing me the way to go they're giving me the intuition the insight the knowledge all this stuff that that I pull out of the Akashic comes through them in a way and like they point me to things as long as I ask, you know. And when I ask, I get the answers. And like it's like this for all of us, right? Um, I'm still learning how to publicly speak, by the way. So if you don't like me saying like and things like that, get over it. Um, I'm starting to at this time. I'm starting to realize my my divinity, and I'm claiming it, saying like, "Hey, I'm God." I'm not saying I'm big G God. I'm little G God, but I'm part of God, which means that I can do whatever I want here as long as I'm operating in honor, which I always am. I will treat you with respect, but you're going to treat me with respect, and I'm going to do what I want because I'm going to go the way I want because that's why I came here. And uh, it's 5555. Five, five, five. <laughs> it's something else that I put into their supposed courts was basically get the fuck out of my way. I'm going where I want to go. I'm here to work for him, not you. I got shit to do. Move. And um, it's what I've been doing, right? And I, I, you'll see more later. I gave up a whole lot for this. and gave up my old life and hit the road without money and all these things just because I, I knew what, what I had to do and I relied I, I, I knew I had to step out in faith man so I did um, yeah you can't tell me what to do I'm divine basically same thing I just said and these are just notes that I made for myself to kind of roll through this stuff so um, again I, nobody can tell me what to do because you're not my daddy basically and uh, I didn't elect you for do this I don't do the voting volting they want your volts it's uh, they're selected not elected okay if if i if i pick two people and i tell you to choose between which it's really fucked up that it's two come on man and they're both owned then i don't give a shit who you pick a polling place is somewhere that we go to give opinions okay it, the fact that it always comes down to the wire is another indicator of it being total horseshit okay um it's all a setup it's all nonsense oh we got to go vote if you don't vote you don't get a say no i get a say because it's my universe I don't vote because I don't want to be represented. The whole court thing is based on representation. I used to go in and say, I'm not represent. Are you, oh, are you representing yourself? No, I'm presenting myself. I'm presenting the most high. I'm not representing anything because that's what you do here. You represent. That's to say that I'm something fictional rep or standing in the place of something that's real. No, I am the real thing. I'm here to deal with you as that real thing. Good luck. Um, so my kids always came to me for affection and understanding and if they needed to work through things, if, they, if I was around or, you know, we did breathing exercise. You can do this stuff with your kids, man. They can breathe with you. Um, we can actually cast out spirits. I learned uh, with my oldest daughter, I used to talk to her on FaceTime. And um, one night she, she used to get really mad, right? And I know now it's, it's a spiritual thing. She was like under attack. And... Um, if there's angels, there's demons. It's all, it's all, there's both sides of everything, right? It's all, all created by the Most High. It says in Scripture, basically, I, I, the Lord, created all these things. So, like, if it's good or bad, it's all God. He created all of it because you got to, again, there has to be both sides to have the divine play. The, the divine drama that we're acting out right now has to have both sides. you got to have villains. Show me a movie with no villain, and I'll show you a shitty movie, okay? Um... I couldn't put them down, man. I couldn't. I, I, I loved, again, the way that they were able to love me back was something I'd never gotten from anyone else because they were pure. Kids are pure, man. They're supposed to learn from us. Like the, and I actually learn from us than what we do and how we act. So we can't, you know, people in my life used to say one thing and do another. I was like, fucking hypocrite. You want me to listen to you? Or they, be like me. Well, you're miserable. So why would I want to be like you? Like we're supposed to have our, our, our young with us at all times so that they can learn from us energetically and physically and spiritually. But we have to be right in order to do this and we have to not be working a job, you know, in order to do these things. And again, we're going to step into more of this as we get, 
as we ascend, you know, as as light beings, and we'll be able to bring in the the future generations are going to be unstoppable. Let me tell you something I know. When I have more kids, they're going to be unstoppable because we're not they're not going to school. School L is skew L, skewing God. L is Elohim God, skewing God. Yeah, it's about right. Uh, pledge of allegiance, pledge allegiance to the flag. I'm not pledging allegiance to that fucking rag. And putting your hand over your heart makes it more heartfelt. And again, they know all these things. It's why they do it this way. Um, they're not going to have the brainwashing. They won't be watching Tell I See Your Vision. They won't be watching Disney movies, you know, with like dicks on the cover and, and priests with boners and all this other stuff. Um, they're they're going to be divine and they're going to know the divine and they're going to be unstoppable and they're going to be raised to know their divinity and to know that there's anything they can set their mind to. You know, uh, Kanye West, love him or hate him, has been very successful. And um, he said something like, you know, I was never told I couldn't do anything. I was told I could do anything I set my mind to. He's like, look at me now. I'm 35 and I'm Kanye West, right? Because it's about what's inside of us. If we have doubt, fear, it doesn't work. Like We have to be able to say, like, yeah, I'm divine. I get what I want. I get what I want because... <laughs> He wants to bring it in for us. He loves us, okay? Uh, Source loves us. I keep saying he, but anyway, it's just for sake of argument. Uh, He loves us. He is us. Source is us. We are Source. Source wants to support us, love us. All the creations of Source love us, okay? All the beings that we can't see with our eyes, they all love us very much. And they're here to support us in any way possible if we invite them in and allow them to come into our life. Um, a lot of beings don't get to come here and incarnate in this realm, okay? A lot of light beings and whatnot, they haven't come here ever, you know? Um, like it's my understanding that, like, uh, Metatron has been here before as a human. Archangel Michael has not. So, like, different levels, right? And uh, Michael looks after me. Um, he's one of my, my protectors amongst many others. Uh, my great-grandmother, who was always viewed as a weirdo, um, well, that's because she was very powerful light being. Um, and, I, you know, one thing that I told my daughters is that there's nothing they could ever do to make me not love them. Like, you can tell me anything. I said, I've done it all. I've seen it all. I will never judge you. I will never tell you that you're, you're you know, not worthy or anything like that, that I will always love you. I might not like what you do, but I'll always love you, right? And I think it's important to instill these things into our young to let them know these things so that they set in there early on. So they know that they can come to us when they've got stuff going on so we don't find some shit in their closet or, you know, some stuff that went down that we wish we'd known about. But they didn't feel comfortable to tell us because they might get in trouble. And I, I don't believe in corporal punishment either myself. I was, I was beaten, kicked, chased upstairs, had to write thousands of sentences, tens of thousands probably. I was grounded all through high school. I've been, uh, it doesn't work, man. I always, you know what, for me. When you push me, I push back harder. That's the way I've always been made. It was part of my my divinity so that nobody could break me. But I tell you what I know, like smacking somebody outside of like, okay, so my youngest daughter has a harder head than I do, which is, says a lot. And uh, there, there came a point where I like, I tried everything. She wouldn't listen. I like went like, I was like, yo, I like popped her in the head. Like I didn't, didn't hurt. I just... It woke up. She went like, whoa, dad's never done that before. It's like, yeah, pay attention, man. Like, let me listen to me. You know, like, I need you to listen because there's stuff that you is going to be harmful to you here that I need to protect you. Actually, that's my role as a parent or a pair that rents the pair that rents. Yes, it's a temporary season. Our families are not meant to be in our fucking lives our entire life unless you want them there. If you don't want them there, get rid of them. I got rid of mine. It's much better this way. I'm looking for my soul family now the true beings that I'm supposed to connect with and that can resonate with me and they're going to love and support me. Not the ones that kept me down, that I was molested by, that, you know, uh, lack of love and psychological abuse and all these things and who never supported me, who always made me think that I was weird and that I couldn't be the guy that I was doing. Even the shit I was doing, they tried to like say that, I can't do that. I already did it, man. You might not be able to do it. I did it. I'm doing it now. Get out of my way. And that's one of the biggest lies. Oh, you got to love her because she's my mom. Well, yeah, you got to love her, but you, I love them, but I don't love them from close and I don't talk to them. And they don't have my information outside of the number that's on here, which I highly doubt they will call because they will be immediately blocked. And we're not on the same vibration anymore, so it's irrelevant. Um, I got away from these people. And some of these people, they, they're energy vampires. Okay, They're put there to keep us down. 
They're put there to keep us down so that we cannot step into our power, so that we cannot ascend, so we cannot reach the vibrations that we need to reach. Again, if, if you look at the last video, this is why I don't have contact with certain people that I would even want to have contact with, like my daughters, okay? It's not because I don't want to. It's because in my case, especially, Spirit told me there are certain people who can't come with you where you're going. Again, I'm doing this for all my ancestors. This goes way back, guys. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Excuse me, two, four, eight. 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 520, 512, so on and so forth, right? It just goes and goes and goes. These are all ancestors, and some of these, they weren't able to break curses, so we came here to do it for them. So we're actually helping our entire family line, and our young are just part of that line that we already have. So like like I said before, my, my daughter might have been my wife in a previous life or any of that shit because it's, it goes around and around. These people are around us through lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes. So like, I'm helping them by what I'm doing. They're going to benefit from it regardless. And I don't make the rules here. So like, I gotta follow them a lot of times. And again, I didn't like that. It was very unpleasant. And it was one of the hardest things for me to accept. But again, Source didn't make me move on it until I was ready. And when it was time, it was time. And I had to have the courage to step into it. You know, and they, they told me when it was time. I begged him to not bring it in. But uh, at the same time, it had to be done. Like you can't. So if you take a bunch of uh, metronomes and stick them next to each other, okay, and set them all off on, on their own track, so tick-tock, 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 set a bunch of them down, let them all start running. Don't, don't make them coordinated. Don't line them up, okay? Give it about a minute, and they'll all be in unison. Tick-tock, 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 not tick-tick-tock, tick-tick-tock. All out of, they all line up, and it's the same thing with us. Vibrationally, they're going to all line up, and if we're around a bunch of low vibrational people, what do you think is going to happen to us, Okay. When it's one-on-one, -on -one, it might be uh, might be another story. It might be able to bring people up to our vibration. But if, if we're overwhelmed, it's going to be pulled down. This used to happen to me around large groups of people. It still does if I'm around very large groups of low vibration people. I have to be careful who I go around, how close I get to them, and what my what my hygiene is in terms of cleaning out energy. And I'm talking about soap here. Um, I told them, like, I didn't tell them this, but again, I've done it all before. I don't, I don't judge you because you are me. You're another point of view, point of view, point of me, yes. The people we see here, okay, whatever version of me you see is based on what's inside of you, okay? Whatever version of you I see is based on what's inside of me. You are the being, the, the spirit in the body, but beyond that, you're actually a projection. So beyond you being here, whatever version I see of you is actually a projection. So it's all just me. Right, I'm speaking to myself right now. Um, if when I'm speaking to large crowds or groups of people, it's I'm going to be speaking to myself. I'm helping others to ascend to take it into their universe through sharing. But uh, the version I see is just based on what's inside me. It's, it, that's how the whole game works here. Um, that's why it's called a point of view. YOLO, no, don't YOLO. It's not. You live many lives. Again, you've heard me talk about living past lives, Crete, Egypt. Phoenicia, Phoenicia, um, Venetia. Interestingly enough, the crime families, if you go back to, uh, to ancient Italy, the Medici, which is the key to all of creation, I think is what I broke it out to, um, they twisted the language in like the 14th century. They started making words mean different things. If you dig into the supposed law, which is legal realm, go into Black's Law, start looking at what words really mean, okay? Uh, licity, licentious, to be a sexual deviant. Um, all these things, there's, there's a whole bunch of them, guys. And uh, again, it's all been bastardized, twisted around. We don't know what we're saying. We don't know what we what we mean, and therefore we're able to be, they're able to steer us in a different direction. And uh, it was done very craftily and probably by demons through stronger beings here or beings that had some kind of clout, just like today. Just like the Vatican and the world powers that be. Anybody you see that's in power, I don't care if it's old Donnie boy or whoever that other bitch is or whatever. Um, I call bitch because anybody who's in that role is a demon, okay? Think of like Rockefeller or Rothschild back in the day. Any of those, any of these people, they're all demons. They're all lower vibrations. Oh, by the way, they're all miserable too. So like, don't let them fool you. They don't have it. They they don't have it made. Um, old Donnie boy is a Scottish Rite 30, 33rd degree Freemason. If you know anything about what's going on in the world, Freemasonry has been used to basically screw the whole world over and to help facilitate the system that's in, in effect now through their own ignorance. So when you get up to the 33rd degree, you start to know stuff like I know right now. And um, 
I'm an initiate, but I didn't go through the mystery schools. I was brought into the mystery schools by the divine. So they don't have control over me. And again, they know who I am. They know what I'm here to do. They can't stop me. I get everything I set my mind to. I'm unstoppable. We are unstoppable. This will not be stopped. The ball is rolling. It's on. Tick tock, guys. Your time is up. I would say sorry, but I don't say I'm sorry. I say I, I apologize again. Don't say you're sorry. It tells your subconscious that you're worthless. Um, and they know, I know the old laws. I know the divine laws. I know the old law. I know the law of the land, not their legal bullshit papered reality. Um, so I want to touch on when I got into like amphetamines back in the day. Again, be careful with these things. If you're prescribed, if your kids are prescribed, don't do that. Just don't do it, man. Um, it, it's, it's, it's meth. It's literally, it's, it's methamphetamine. Same, chemically, almost exactly the same. I'm talking to a guy who did this stuff for years. I was on it for years. The prescriptions, all that shit. Um, might be a little bit cleaner. It's not made from Drano, but hey, I wouldn't put it past them. Um, I'll mix it with a little bit of candy flavoring, right? Adderall, yummy. Um, it makes your kids catatonic. They're, they're fucking high, man. Like, they're, 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 they're quiet because they're high off their ass. These are amphetamine. Oh, it slows them down. I know a few people that it slows down, okay? And I, I, I'm around one of them right now. And okay, it's, that's legit. He doesn't take it anymore. But this guy runs like turbo all day long just on his natural energy. However, they're made this way, man. They're supposed to be this way. If God made them this way, they're supposed to be this way. Let them be. 144 on the clock. Let them be. Let them be. And figure out how you can best facilitate what they're, they've come here to do. Because they're probably special beings. Because we're not all meant to be the same, man. Uniform is one form. We're not meant to be one form. We're meant to be unique. I came here to be unique. Not I came here to stand out, not to fit in. Others are like me. ADD is a, it means you're intelligent. You can think outside the box. You're creative. And you're going to do big things here if you allow it. Um, yeah, again, these, these things try to get me to do stuff that I would never do, but they, they open me up to some very dark beings that try to get me to do some of the stuff that was done to me. They try to get me to do this shit to my own kids, man. I wouldn't do it, but I'm not going to say that I didn't have some of these thoughts, and at that point, I was like, this shit's got to go, man. I can't. There's no fucking way. No way. No, nah, man, I love them too much. I can never do that. I, 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 I would hate myself. Are you kidding me? Like, I can't do that. And what I was, oh, it was done to me. I don't give a shit what was done to me. It was done to me so I could stop it, not so I could fucking further it and facilitate it oh it was done to me so I'm not responsible yeah you are responsible you're respondable too by the way might be might start paying attention to that pay with your attention uh, so I, as a locksmith and, a, and uh, I was breaking into my own safe which was difficult which was a problem because I, I had my own meds I had meds that were controlled that I was on for quite a long time I, I kind of jumped down here this is yeah um, I was still on some of this stuff at the time and uh, so I had them locked in a safe, and my wife would put out that day for what I, I was going to take that day. And um, I kept getting into more and more safes, better and better safes, better and better safes. <laughs> and it's like when you spend a lifetime breaking into stuff, there's always a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. We learned how to, I, I got paid to break into houses, cars, you name it, right? All go through windows and all kinds of crazy shit. So, like, it became an issue with that um, to where I could get into. And my wife was on Adderall at the time, too, which was always plenty full in there and it caused me a lot of problems and caused her a lot of grief to be honest with you so apologies for that one um so come uh i went to go check into i had a psychotic break um uh, because of uh, amphetamine and dose induced psychosis um i went and got the shotgun i emptied it i pointed it at the floor i pulled the trigger to make sure it was empty uh, she had took my kids over to her mom's house and didn't tell me and I hadn't slept in like a week and um, you go a little crazy after this time and um, I don't like telling the story but hey let's, let's, uh, let's keep it real right I was out of my head um, she took the girls to mom's house came back didn't have them I was like well what's going on yeah I was pissed I was had it like a, I psychotically broke and um, I went, again, I went and grabbed the shotgun, emptied it out, pointed it at the ground. I was going to act like I was going to shoot myself in front of her. Fucked up, right? And, uh, again, I, these are things I'd never do when not under the influence, but it's like being possessed, man. I don't know what else to compare it to. It's just, it's, if you know someone who's a drug addict, they're, it's not them. It's somebody else. It's some other being channeling through them. It's not them. So don't take it personal, right? And, uh, ended up, you know, called the cops and all this shit, and they came out. They're like, oh, can we come inside? It's like, you got a warrant? They're like, no. 
like, oh, shit. And they went around to her, and they're like, can we come inside? She's like, yeah, come on. Ended up uh, going with them to the hospital willingly because, well, they were going to take me if not, so whatever. It's like the one um, it's the one time I've actually had to go in somewhere. I wasn't, uh, I just totally lost my mind for a little while. And I, uh, so I went to the hospital, start talking to this grief counselor or whatever. I talked my way out of it. Even after all that shit, they were going to let me go. And she's like, you're going to let him go? Are you crazy? It's like, you're going to kill him. Like, he's going to die. And so they, 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 they got a, uh, temporary detention order for 72 hours and they held me for three days and then I slept for like three days and then I, I went another trip to the psych ward again it was always for drugs other times just to come off stuff they did when they would do like like a, a, a benzo taper it was always in the psych ward it's, again it's not a big deal you're not like tied down or anything we played spades in there all kinds of shit but um, met some really you want to meet some really based people go to a psych ward the people that they call paranoid schizophrenics are some of the most based and tuned in people you'll ever meet in your life and they put them on all kinds of drugs. These are gifted people who have, a lot of them have connections to the spirit realm and they don't understand it. And so the Western medicine puts them on all kinds of pills to block, again, the signals coming from the divine to mess with their chakras, right? Um, so yeah, went to the hospital, um, checked, came out of there, went into the wellness center, I think, for two weeks from the hospital, got my head right and all that stuff. Um, came back, spent a night with the wife that was actually wonderful, one of the best nights we had in a while, and um, then she was gonna, no, excuse me, got out of the hospital, came back to the house for a night, we spent the night together, and then she was gonna take me to, to the, the rehab the next day. And she got sick that night, she was throwing up and all kinds of shit, it was because of what was in her psyche. Um, she'd been cheating on me, and again, I'm not saying this to get somebody and tr to have any kind of malice, I'm just telling it like it is. I just told some fucked up shit about me, so. Um, and uh, she knew it, and it was eating at her conscience. It was making her physically ill. It's a good example of how things work with us, right? Because of what was going on inside of her, and she felt like a piece of shit. And so the next day, she drove me there. It was very quiet, right? And uh, I knew something was off, and I, I already knew this was what was happening. I just I hadn't allowed myself to accept it yet, right? Um, and... Uh, Denial, right? And uh, we get there, and she just busts out crying, right? And like, can't say it, can't say it, what happened. And I was like, I know. I said, I know. I said, fucking cheated on me. I know. I said, look, I love you. Four, four, four on the clock. Um, I said, I love you. I'm going to get through this, and you, know, you got to learn how to forgive yourself. Like, I forgive you. It's not, it's not, it's not really on me to forgive, anyways. That's a, a divine thing. That indicates that I'm casting judgment. But at the time. Um, I'm like, you got to forgive yourself, which is going to be the hard part now. Not on me. I knew that at the time. And like, this is, again, this example of this divine love that flows through me. I didn't even know where that came from. Well, it came from source. It wasn't me. Um, but again, I was too much of chicken shit at the time or didn't have enough self-worth to go like, all right, well, we're done. Right? These days, I don't play that shit, man. We're not doing that. No, I'm worth more than that. I'm so valuable. I'm so worthy. I don't need any of that shit. I have... None of us do, right? But it comes from the inside. So we have to get to this point within ourselves to where we can know these things about ourselves. And a lot of times it takes a lot of work and a lot of trauma. Very traumatic for me. Spent a week uh, crying in, re in rehab and just coming off stuff at the same time and just very emotional, allowing myself to cry it out. we got to get this shit out of us, man. Don't hold it inside. It just bottles up and it'll explode. It's got to come out. If you get an opportunity to cry, just do it. When I start feeling this way, I, I would be like, come on, bring it. Basically bring it on. Let me get started so I can run with it and then just get this shit out of me, right? Um, but yeah, I'm psychic. I, I knew these things. I just, I, 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 I didn't want to admit it because it was uncomfortable. Um, but again, I, I've drawn in the narcissist in my life and they're put in there for a reason. If you meet somebody online that is actually meant for you to, to bring the the darkness out of you and to make you step into your divine purpose which actually she did one of the best things for me ever by making me step into my divine purpose and making me know my worth by what was done for me not to me again these things are done for us I'm no victim man I don't play that shit it, it was a blessing for lack of a better term again um, it was fortune in disguise I couldn't see it at the time but now I do and I know that it wasn't even about me if anybody does anything to me it's not about me it's about them it's about where they're at it's not about me or anything I did. Don't let anybody blame you for anything. To blame is to be lame. 
nah, man, it's on you. If you do something, it's on you. It ain't on me. Don't say, tell me I did this or didn't do that or whatever. Like, if you, the, the kind of being that you are allows you to do these things or not to do them. So it's really on you, and you're going to pay the price for it ultimately, karmically. She's paying for a lot of this stuff now karmically. I know because divine is bringing it. And this is the time they're bringing the fire. The, the spirit realm is bringing it right now. So, again, I didn't have to do anything at all. If I, I have to let it go so spirit can take it. It talks about, in scripture, I'm paraphrasing again, but it says uh, something about basically, well, it says vengeance is mine, said the Lord, which that's exactly spot on. But then it also says uh, something along the lines of like, you got to let it go so that they can take it. At least I, I know that anyways. So like energetically, this is the effect realm, right? The, the etheric is the causal. So if I take it in the effect, it's done. I'm at the end of the line. But if I let it go here, it can go up to the causal and then come back down through spirit. And they can bring it a lot far, harder than I can in ways I can't imagine. And they can make people's lives fall apart. And that's their job. Like, they're, they'll always bring the karma. Karma is very real. Law of karma. Be careful what you do. You reap what you sow. Always we reap what we sow. But again, this is the life of a Hayoka. So it's okay. Um, so I'm going to leave this here. This will be the third video. Again, there's, there's, there's many videos. I've got about 400 shorts, at least 300 probably shorts of uh, Various things, shredding the system, pulling it apart, uh, exposing lies and deception and uh, fun with phonics and all this stuff. Um, there'll be more to come. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, donate, all that good shit. Uh, you'll find all that information in the description box below. There will also be links to the two previous videos in the description box uh, below. Um, be the change you want to see in the world. Step out of your comfort zone. We all have purpose here, man. Just let me be an example that, and again, I'll go into this more in the next one about how far I've stepped off the cliff in order to bring these things in that I'm dealing with right now and what I'm doing now. And to show that we can do anything we start our mind to. We'll always be looked after. We'll always be given what we need when we need it. There's no, there doesn't need to be any fear of lack because there's nothing to lack. Like He'll always bring it. We'll always get what we need. And I'll, I'll, I'll prove that in my next video or videos. So anyways, I love all of you, all my brothers and sisters in Christ, K-R-S-T, and in creation. And you're all me. You are me and I'm you. I think Jim Carrey said it in Ace Ventura too. He said, uh, well, if you were me, then I'd be you, and I'd use your body to get to the top. You can't stop me no matter who you are, because you are me, and I am you. So I love all of you. Uh, truly, I do. And um, I'll talk to some of you guys soon, and um, yeah, tune in, check out some of my other videos, and um, I'm done here. So be the change you want to see in the world. Do that random, random act of kindness for somebody else, because they are you, and it will come full circle. So even, if, I mean, don't do that with that intent, but, you know, just help other people out because if, if I want someone to help me, I've got to help other people. It's just how it works here because we're all one, alone and all one at the same time. So, uh, yeah, love all of you. Y'all have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.